The House Intelligence Committee hears new testimony today from Admiral Mike Rogers, director of the National Security Agency, and FBI Director James Comey. They will testify in private about Russian interference in the last election. In a public session yesterday, Comey told senators he was, quote, mildly nauseous at the idea that his handling of Hillary Clinton's email investigation could have affected the election. Jeff Pegues is outside the Capitol with the latest. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. It was classic Comey. There were blunt assessments and surprising revelations, but the headline was his vigorous defense of his actions during the 2016 election. But he did talk about what he believes is the clear and present danger from Russia. What kind of threat do you believe Russia presents to our democratic process? Well, certainly, the, in my view, the greatest threat of any nation on Earth. Uh, given their intention and their capability. FBI Director James Comey offered the Senate Judiciary Committee his chilling assessment on Russian meddling. Is it fair to say that the Russian government is still involved in American politics? Yes. The FBI's counterintelligence investigation into potential connections between the Trump campaign and Russia opened last July. Congress was notified in March. Comey said he didn't make the disclosure to Congress before the election because the Bureau doesn't make its investigations public. Was it appropriate for you to comment on one investigation repeatedly and not say anything about the other? I think I treated both investigations consistently under the same principles. But in July, Comey made headlines by announcing Hillary Clinton would not be charged over her emails without consulting the Justice Department. He cited an impromptu tarmac meeting between then Attorney General Loretta Lynch and Bill Clinton. Her meeting with President Clinton on that airplane was the capper for me. Comey also explained his decision to notify Congress 11 days before the election about classified emails found on a computer Clinton aide Uma Abedin shared with her husband, Anthony Weiner. Uma Abedin appears to have had a regular practice of forwarding emails to him for him, I think, to print out for her so she could then deliver them to the uh, Secretary of State. His first public explanation of the decision to tell Congress was personal and revealing. Look, this was terrible. It makes me mildly nauseous to think that we might have had some impact on the election. Director Comey said he had two choices. Tell me what you would do. Would you speak or would you conceal? According to some former FBI officials, Comey's actions before the election did deviate from protocol. Earlier this year in January, the Department of Justice Inspector General launched an investigation into his actions, and yesterday, Comey revealed that he has already been questioned in connection with that probe. Charlie. Jeff, thanks.